Hey guys, CGS Knives here. Just kind of want to go over the deer bone whistle with you again. I'm here in my shop, and um, here are some of the bone whistles that I've made. I'll be shipping out a few of these. I've sold quite a few over the last couple of days, which is really good. I'm really impressed with the response I've gotten from these. But these are all done, buffed out, and they're ready to ship. And I kind of just wanted to go over. This is kind of how I start. This is a bone. Um, full bone and I take this and I cut off each end, each knuckle to look something similar to this. Then I'll cut this down, drill out the inside diameter of the hole to get the size diameter I want. Then I have something that looks similar to this. Um, and then I'll round off the edges a little bit and then I'll pick one side to be where the mouthpiece is and I'll taper that down a little bit more. As you can see in this example, how the mouthpiece is tapered down and rounded off so it just kind of feels better in your lips. And these have all been polished. Not sure how well uh, you can see that, but it's got a nice polish on there. I will say one thing that I use a white and then I use a green compound. I'm buffing these out, and there may be a little bit of green residue left over. Again, I'm not sure how well this is picking up on the film, but you can kind of see inside the lanyard hole a little bit of a green residue, and that'll just wipe right off. I try wiping off, off as much as I can, but uh, that way I can get a nice, nice shine on the bone. I think they look better that way, uh, buffed out like this. Uh, I prefer the look of like a finished product buffed out shiny and uh, they all work very well um, they're all different of course in size uh, inside diameter and length I try to make them around four inches some of them like these two are only three inches long um, but because of the, the size differences they're all going to be they're all going to be different and sound a little bit but I uh, manipulate them as much as I can to get the best sound out of them, and they are all really, really loud. So, and they're all pretty much the same. It's a little more higher pitch than that one. Same thing there too. I mean, you got these these bigger ones here. So, they're all pretty loud and. Um, uh, send me a message if you're wanting any of these. I'm selling each one of these for $15. And like I said, um, these three here are already sold. I have a couple more left, and I have a couple more that are over here that are getting glued up, uh, they're getting dried. But I um, already shipped out a few yesterday, and I got a few more ship out still. And still, you know, not really taking orders, but just taking. Uh, you know, taking orders as as far as the, when I get them done, I'll get them shipped out. So kind of something I'm doing on the side. It's not something I'm like uh, like I'm changing from making knives to making bone whistles, but just something I thought I would try. I put that video on there on YouTube um, about the last one I made, and started receiving a bunch of emails about if I can make more, and decided to start making some more. So if anybody still wants one, I have some available. Obviously, I have more bones to make more. I have quite a few other uh, leg bones like that. So that's the uh, the deer bone survival whistle. If anybody's interested, like I said, send me an email. Uh, write down in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think about these, uh, if they're cool or not. And I just appreciate you for watching, guys. Thank you.